Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone captain. Today we're going to be doing the top paid tweaks for the week, so let's go ahead and get started. The first one I'm going to share with you is called Stride 2. This is for iOS 7, and you can get this for $2.99. So check it out. What it does is it allows you to draw your password rather than type in a number or letters you saw there i just drew my password you can set that to be anything you want it to be you just record your password and then you begin to use it it's very easy to set up view of convergence this is a lock screen tweak you can get it for two dollars and a half in mod my repo and it's available for ios 6 and 7 so keep that in mind if you're still running ios 6 you can use this tweak so let's go ahead and let me show you what it looks like from the lock screen, you see here we got some little pointy arrows looking at us. And you can change this is actually a, one of the themes that comes pre-installed on this that I have configured. And you see if you swipe this way, you get different toggles. You get your brightness control up here at the top. If you tap up there, you got your media controls. And if you swipe to the left, you got your camera and makes it very easy to access it. And if you swipe down from the top, you got your weather and RSS feeds. The next one is called Auto Blue. And what this does, it allows you to use your Bluetooth whenever you want to. And it saves your battery power by disabling Bluetooth when you're not using it. Such as if the only time you're using it is when you're connected to your home network, you can set that up using these settings. If the only time you use it is when you're in your car, you can set it up using these settings. It's all going to depend where, where and when you are connected. If you're connected to a specific network, you're going to know what that network is called and you're going to come down here and put it in down here. If you're connected to the network in your car, to your stereo, then you're going to type in that name here and it's going to know when you get in your car to automatically connect or disconnect or however you want to set it up. Auto Blue, it's a pretty cool tweak. The next one is called Pocket Mode 2, and this allows you to have your phone ring louder when it's in a purse or bag or pocket. And what even makes it more special is if you only want it to do this for certain applications, such as your phone. If you uh, if you only want to get a uh, phone, if you mute, if you got your phone on mute. You can actually override mute using this tweak and it will still ring. That way you still get your phone calls, but it ignores everything else. So if you're expecting an important phone call, you can still mute your phone and get to the call, but not be aggravated with all the other notifications that may be coming in or text messages or whatever. You can set it up for text messages the same way. It has a phone category, messages, and then a notifications and then down here is advanced for light sensitivity and all that stuff, which it uses your camera sensors, I think it said, to determine the amount of light around so it knows how to ring. Uh, pretty cool tweak, guys. Pretty advanced. The next one's called Disk Pie, and you can get it for $199. Pocket Mode's $199 too, guys. I didn't tell you that. Disk Pie is $199 in the Big Boss repo. And what it does is it tells you how much space you're using for each category of your device, like how much you're using for apps, how much for tweaks, how much for music. Uh, you'll see when the scan's finished here, it divides everything up into a pie chart, makes it real easy to see. And you see right here, we got so many operating system, user library is, is worth so much, city of packages, uh, recordings, all that kind of stuff and anything that you see on here that you can live without you can go delete it and have more storage on your device and that's called disk pie the next one is a very cool tweak called slices and what slices does and before i forget it slices is $1.99 in the big boss repo also if you have said two different uh, accounts for google and most people do all right, you see down here at the bottom, I get a pop-up come up. It says DMitch slice one and iPhone noob slice two. Okay, I have already set those slices up and that's the name of my uh, my accounts on Google. If I want to read the DMitch 
Google account. I can just tap that and I don't have to input any of my information. I've already put it in there and it automatically logs me in. And it, what it does, guys, it boils down to it lets you use as many accounts as you want to use for different applications like Google, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, anything that has an account, it will let you use it like this. It's very awesome tweak. The next one is called Catch You. And this is pretty, pretty sly tweak, I should say. If you've been trying to catch somebody that uses your, that, that's getting, looking at your information and you don't want them to, uh, you have a password here for the app and you can enable whatever applications you want on in here. So I've got contacts enabled, passbook, FaceTime, photos, and any of those applications that I have enabled, if anybody tries to open it up, it's going to take their picture. So let's go in here. You saw I just tried to open photos. So we should have a photo of the camera and you see we do. But that's one thing I've noticed about this tweak. The photographs are really dark. They need to be lightened up and I don't know what's causing that at all. I've already emailed the developer. He definitely needs to, to, to fix that as soon as possible. This is called Catch You and it's $1.99. The next one is called Unshaker 7. And it's a, a 99 cents in Big Boss Repo. What it does is it allows you to shake your device to unlock it. And, and, and you can set it up to unlock that way. Even if you have a passcode, you can set it to override by going into the settings here, going down to... Uh, now, on the settings, it's called Shake to Unlock 7. Don't ask me why. It's two separate names. I couldn't tell you. Now, in here, you can set it to override the passcode, and you can also set it to work only if you're on AC. And the best I can tell, AC is your home network. So if you enable that, you can unlock it anytime you want to just by shaking it. And I guess that being the case, it's pretty safe when you're at home, I guess, is the developer's thinking. But what it allows you to do is when you lock the device, you should be able to just shake it and it will unlock such as that. But you see it just crashed and I've, I've been having that problem too. So anyway, guys, it does work. Sometimes it needs some updates and you might want to check it out. And another thing too is I have a whole lot of tweaks on my device right now. For this video, that could be conflicting with something else that normally wouldn't be there. So keep that in consideration. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this week. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And please, by all means, help us share this on Facebook and Twitter. It really helps us out. Our subscriber, guys, hit that subscribe button. Share it on Facebook and Twitter. And keep coming back.